All right, guys, this is Jay here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to lay out these three and a half inch round glass Christmas ornaments. Um, the first thing we want to do is get our eclipse tool, which is over here on the left bar, and we will open up an eclipse. It doesn't matter. You just highlight this and then drag out a, an eclipse or a circle or an oval. And up here, we will put it at the three and a half inches by three and a half. Oops, my apologies, by three and a half inches. And we get an eclipse. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do two of these. Copy, paste for Control C, Control V. Another thing you do is Control D, and it duplicates. So if we want to do three, and we'll go ahead and why not? Just because I'm showing you how to do this, highlight both of these, and press the E as an Ernie and Eric, and it'll line them so they're perfectly straight like this. Now what we're gonna want to do is import our files. So file import and let's see actually named it something here we get a lot of files from adobestock.com it's a great place to get files i'll post a link to them in the description so you guys can check them out let's see i saved this one as christmas ornaments and here is christmas ornaments okay okay now i'm going to zoom out and delete this one because i had it in Oh, I don't know which one we want to go for, but let's do let's do sleigh ride. See, these are already coming in. They're vector images, so we don't need to deal with it. That's one good thing about buying, um, or actually being a member of Adobe Stock, is we can get vector images that are ready to go. So I like sleigh rides and hot cocoa. Let's get this one over here. And oh, this one's nice, but this ring right here, eh, let's do it. Why not? Get rid of these. I'm only going to engrave two. I'm going to show you two ways to do this. Oops. Boop. Boop. All right. So let's get the first guy. I'm just shrinking it down by grabbing this little dude here and making it bigger and smaller until we're happy with this placement in this circle. Now we could take another measurement from the ornament because it has a bevel and take the measurement from the top of the circle. But what I'm just going to make this a little smaller then. Should be all right. And we'll put it in here. So let's go ahead and group this together. Okay, since um, I gotta take a break here real quick. All right, even though it didn't feel like I was gone very long, I was running a CNC machine in the other room and well, it crashed. So I had to go in there and take care of that. Where were we? All right, I think this is a good size. So this was all ungrouped. Uh, so what you want to do is press Control G and make sure your uh, vector image is grouped. And then now for me, what I do for settings for engravings, they, if you're using RD Works or um, let's see, Ruidia, uh, if you have a Ruidia processor, the laser reads the outline colors, and that's how it decides what to do. And you can program those colors to do different things and commands for the laser. So I have my engravings set up for uh, blue. So we'll click on this outline button up here on the top right and we'll put on a hairline outline and we'll drop down the color. We have to change it to RGB, always RGB, red, green, blue, red, green, blue. And that's what you, uh, your lasers read is RGB. Every laser I have reads RGB and they read the outlines. So I just make sure you get the same kind. For me to engrave, we use blue uh, right here and I'll just put in 255 that's 100% blue uh, it's 255 so now this is going to engrave it just like this for us so we'll take this and we're gonna come over here to our circle actually our circle over here I put uh, outline and I make red so it's 255 red and that's gonna say hey laser this circle exists right here but Ignore it. Don't do anything to it. Just make sure you know it's there. Okay, so we'll take this image <clears throat> and then we'll come over here and press and hold shift and then left click here and then I'll press E and C to get it aligned for us. All right, now we're working on this one. He's the hot cocoa. You see how this guy here is uh, ungrouped? So we can select just some of this and we can move it around. We'll go ahead and undo. I can go up here and click undo up here or we can press Control Z and it'll undo. 
So let's draw a box all the way around this entire image. And I'm going to press Control G to group. We'll come and I'm going to shrink it down to where I think it looks good. Okay, we'll come up over here and just visually see how it looks inside our Christmas ornament. I think it might maybe look a little bit bigger. This one I'm going to do something a little different. We're going to invert this so it engraves in a mirror image. So right now, instead of looking at the face, we're looking at the back of the Christmas ornament. This one we're looking at the front of the Christmas ornament. This one we're looking at the back of the Christmas ornament. And I'll show you what we're do with that if you guys want to follow along with my uh, my video on how to actually engrave these. <clears throat> but anyway, to do an invert uh, a mirror image, there's a tool up here at the top. You just click this tool right here, mirror horizontally, boom. It's backwards. This one mirrors it the other way. Another way to do it is to grab hold of this square and pull it all the way past the other square. Then you have to put the size back up in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Control Z and bring that back and then mirror it this way right here. All right, now we wanna select our black circle. And it's the same difference up here. We're gonna take this guy and we're gonna to go to red. 255 points and now we got to select our vector image that's engraving and we will put on a hairline and we're going to make it blue RGB 255 points now we got to select our graphic that we're engraving and then press and hold shift and click on the circle and press C and E to center it now we're ready to open this up in RD works File, export. Oh, I'm gonna put it in October. My A1 cut folder. I'm gonna run this on my blue laser. This is the laser you guys are used to me running. And I'm gonna save it as an AI file. I'm most I'm exporting this as an AI file, was in a which is an Adobe Illustrator file. Just that's just what my lasers read. So that it will read this just fine. And I'm gonna save this as Christmas. Uh oh. And press enter. Okay, I got, see, don't, don't need to click any of this, just make sure it looks like mine, it's okay. <clears throat> you saw that calculate down here, and now it's done, it's ready to go. So let's open this up in RD Works. Okay, here we are in RD Works. We can press File and Import. And if you recall, it was in my blue file in Christmas O. We're importing this. Um, so we to get your red to indicate, hey, this is here, but don't do anything. Actually, uh, you'll want to click output no. So we'll open this up. Is output no? So it's saying, hey, we're not going to do anything with this. Let's, let's ignore this. Processing modes cut. Okay. Laser scan. Uh, I'd like to run my glass at 375, 65% power. We'll see how this actually goes. I may adjust it, but, uh, and uh, we'll see how this actually goes. Sorry, it's, it's loud noise outside. So uh, they're doing sighting across the street. All right. First thing we gotta do is we gotta mark these circles in our laser. So our, we know where in the world to set these um, Christmas ornaments. So we'll come up here and actually, I know I told you to make them red, but we're gonna click on this if you were to right click, it selects that color. Everything that was red, it selects that color. And I'm going to make it green down here. So I can select green. And for me, green, what, what it's doing is if you open up my settings, output yes, speed 100 millimeters a second, set for a cut 25% power. I don't like to run my machines under 20% power. So a really light, so I, I'm going to put a piece of wood in and we're going to mark these down with the laser so we know exactly where these logos are going to fall. Uh, that's that way you get a perfect um, uh, graphic or an engraving. But first we are going to go into blue, right click on blue and we'll make it red, which you know that red means don't do anything. All right, let's go ahead and run this on the laser. If you want to watch my other video, we're going to run this on the laser real quick. All right, welcome back. So we just marked out these two green lines on our uh, on our laser, and now we're gonna come back and change this all back around. So we wanna actually go to the red, right click, switch it back to blue, 
and then we'll come to the green, right click, and switch it back to the red. Now we are ready to run this on the laser. So check out my other video of actually running this. Uh, I hope that you guys learned something from this. Thank you um, very much for your time. Uh, again, I'm Jay. This is my to-do list. Thanks for stopping.